Oh, yes. There was an interest in art in my family. All the women have always painted. My mother and my aunt were sculptors. My mother is dead now. My Aunt Anna, Hyatt Huntington, is still alive at 94. She still works every day in her studio. And their mother painted and their grandmother painted. My aunt, who is a sculptor, had to choose whether she'd play the violin or model. And she thought that her fingers would last longer modeling than playing the violin. So she forsook violin lessons. Aunt Anna always spent her summers with us in Anasquam outside of Gloucester, where she had a studio. There, she modeled the Joan of Arc. That figure was posed for, the nude figure that is, by my cousin Clara Hyatt. And then the horse was posed for by the Gloucester Fire Department horse, which used to trot down to the studio for its session as a model. The fire department, of course, was extremely proud of this horse as a model, so they would braid red ribbons into his tail and they'd polish his hoofs and curry comb him, and he looked just great as he came down there. So now that's why there's one of the cast of Joan of Arc in Gloucester in a very pretty square. As a matter of fact, it looked better there than anywhere else because it's in a small triangular square with little 18th century houses around it and it looks just right. And it's on a very pretty pedestal. It's really well done. So Aunt Anna always spent the summers with us in Gloucester. Aunt Anna had a studio there, which had been built for a painter called Garrison, built around 1900. It was a very good studio for a painter because it had large doors through which you could wheel huge canvases in and out and a very good north light for a skylight. We lived in this thing for 18 years while we rented the big house. We moved back into the big house only last summer, as a matter of fact. It was close to the ground so that one could wheel heavy sculptures in and out. It was an extremely convenient studio. Aunt Anna did a great deal of work there. We used to pose for her as children also. She was perfectly wonderful. As we grew a little older, she would ask us our opinions on what she was working on. She really meant this seriously. She was not just putting on an act and being agreeable. She wanted to know how the composition and so forth struck us, even as children. Aunt Anna was actually wonderful to me, and she was always the sort of court of appeals in the family. She was the one who loved us without ever getting involved. She was a great trainer of horses and dogs and she took her nieces and nephews as though they were horses and dogs, just exactly the way children want to be taken, you know? Impersonal, loving, kind, strict, and predictable. She was absolutely the greatest person in the world. She was the great person in my childhood. She really was. Mayer was an illustrious curator at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, art historian, writer, and nephew of Anna Hyatt Huntington.